You like to put it on burgers. You'll even put it on chicken. And you make a big batch of this every time you're in the mood for a soup. But coming up next, we're going to take a look how you could take your favorite condiment and turn it into a vinaigrette. I'm talking about this newest recipe for a caramelized onion vinaigrette. We're definitely taking it to a whole new level for flavor. So for that recipe, head on over to kcknh.com. Find me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And be sure to like, subscribe, and share. In this, I'm working with chives, red and white onion, garlic, garlic scapes, and scallions. But you might not be able to get everything, and that's okay. This vinaigrette features some red wine. We've got some honey, olive oil, and some spices. And it's really easy to make this. And I think you're going to be very pleased with the outcome. So it's just important to keep note, we're not looking for precision in your cuts, but keep it as close to the same as possible. We want to ultimately heat up a pan with some olive oil, salt and pepper, and we're going to start working on browning. We want to do this with medium heat. We don't want to kill these vegetables, guys. Ultimately, we want to bring some color. We're going to treat this as if we're doing some caramelized onions with its cousins. Now eventually the pan is going to need to be deglazed. We're using a little bit of red wine. Uh, this one I believe it was a Cabernet Sauvignon we used. And it imparts some beautiful flavors into this. And it does take about six to eight minutes total to get a proper caramelization. And as you can see here, some beautiful browning, which is exactly the goal that we're trying to achieve. Now, this is a recipe for 32 ounces, but you do have the ability to cut it in half. Now, when we get ready, we're going to put it into a high-powered blender. We'll add some Dijon mustard to this. This is going to help emulsify everything. And, of course, because it's a vinaigrette, we're going to be adding some olive oil, red wine vinegar to this. I've got the ratios written down in the recipe for you. And then once we've added these, we're going to go ahead and add some honey and a little bit of water to this. You don't have to have honey in this. If you want to use any other type of sweetener, go ahead. And ultimately, the goal, blitz the hell out of it. We want to get it as smooth as possible. And look how beautiful this is coming out, guys. And let's take a look at the use of this dressing over a pasta salad. This brought so many beautiful flavors to this dish. And we're going to use this actually for marinades as well. So please let me know in the comments if how this came out for you. And as always, have some fun in the kitchen, guys.